So in this video, we'll be doing a planet with a pour. Right now I'm using metallic paints. It's a metallic copper, metallic gold, bright white, and black. So I'm putting it around the canvas, mostly in the center, because that's where the planet's gonna be right here. So here I'm using an airbrush. You can use a hair dryer or anything else that puts out ex excess amount of, of air. Moving the paint around, not, be careful not to blow it over the side of the canvas. Just keep it in the center. So once I'm done with this, I'm going to add more paint. Remember, Art has no rules, just add paint where you feel you need it. Here I'm making some kind of like stripes across the middle because I want the planet to have some stripes like uh, Saturn almost. So I'm moving it kind of lightly here because I don't want to blend it into the other colors. So here I have a stencil I cut out with some watercolor paper, put some repositional adhesive on the back, I'll show you that later. Center it right in the middle of your pore. And I'm going to airbrush the dark and the light sides of the planet. You can also use a paintbrush and just feather it in. I'm using an airbrush right now because the video will be extremely long if I was hand painting everything, but you can do it. So here's the circle I cut out. I'm going to put it over where I airbrushed or where the circle of the planet is now. Now taking some black paint, I'm going to cover the rest of the pore. When you do this, make sure you brush out from the center of the circle. You don't want to brush towards the circle. It might bleed underneath the circle. So you want to go along the edges and, or go outward. Either way is good. So just keep doing that. Cover the rest of the pour up and you should be fine.
So here I'm going to add some stars. While the planet's already covered, it makes it a lot easier so you don't get any stars in the planet. I'm going to add a little galaxy up in the right hand corner to give it some interest to the painting. Just put excess amount of stars in one area, it gives it a nice little star galaxy up there. So that looks good. Now I'm going to remove the stencil or the sticker, take it off, and there you have it, a planet. So that's the adhesive I use. It's repositional, easy to use. Just spray it on. You can use it over and over again. Move your stuff around. It doesn't leave any residue also. Taking a hair dryer, just drying all the wet stars make sure they're nice and dry so if I put my hand on the canvas I won't get any smears or smudges it's always good to do in between so now I'll take some transparent airbrush white and airbrush some stars just randomly all over the place you can do this dry brushing same effect just put them where you feel. Here I'm going to take some titanium white and add a center to my galaxy. Kind of make it more interesting and just instead of just a bunch of stars. taking some fluorescent transparent pink you can also brush over this with this paint also or any watered down transparent paint and just kind of glaze over the top of the white and give it some color you'll see the white shine through and give it that nice glowing effect we always have Here I'm going to take some transparent bright blue and I'm going to glaze over the white. You can also do this with some watered down blue. Just kind of glaze over the white and give it that glowing effect. When the blue mixes with the pink, it also makes a nice little purple tone. 
kind of fading in the back of the planet, give it a nice blue. You can also use watered down blue to do this. Just go around and kind of cover all the bright spots. So after you, you're done glazing, whether it's with an airbrush or just some watered down paint, go back over it and highlight it. Highlight all the little spots, add some stars here and there. So here again I'm using the hair dryer to make sure all the acrylic paint is dry. That's what's great about acrylic. It dries super fast and you can keep painting and keeping your vision in check. Anyway I'm drying this up because I'm going to be glazing it with some Varathane clear. It's high gloss clear and kind of just brushing it on and giving it a high gloss finish and it will also make some of the colors pop. Anyway, that's the video right there. So now you can make a planet with a pour just by covering it up and painting black over the top or any color you wish. Thanks again for watching. Thank you.